We were talking about this earlier. If you're thinking about selling your home, well, you might want to seize the day. Home sales in our area dipped slightly in Dane County in May, but it was still the third best month in the last 10 years. Andrew Gent is a professor in the Department of Real Estate and Urban Land Economics at UW-Madison. Welcome to Live at Four. Thanks very much for having me on. So you look at housing trends and sales more on a national perspective, but is it accurate to say that it's a, a, a seller's market, a white hot seller's market here? Yeah, I mean, that's for sure true. I mean, I, I think the, the month supply is probably the best indicator of how tight the market is, which maybe the best way of seeing is how hard is it going to be for you to find a home that's a good match for you if you're a buyer. And, and the answer right now is it's going to be pretty hard. So if you see something that is a good match, you should probably jump on it. And that, of course, gives sellers. It means they can sell their home quickly, which sellers usually like, and that's mm -hmm. something probably close to what they think uh, you know, an, a, an objective appraisal is. Yeah, I mean, I hear real estate people that I know in the area say, there's no inventory right yeah. now. Is this happening every, across the country because the economy has been stronger and jobs are good? It all kind of ties in, right? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, it, it's not as, as tight a relationship as you might mm -hmm. think. There's a lot of factors that affect the housing market that are influenced by you know sentiment to, to a, a, a perhaps greater degree than mm -hmm. some other types of markets. Um, but no, I think Madison is definitely tighter. Uh, it's always, of course, the there's always more activity mm. in the spring and summer months. What I think right. might be a little concerning for some prospective buyers is that, you know, once you hit late spring, this might be kind of we're not going to get a yeah. ton more inventory. Most people who are thinking about selling their mm -hmm. homes have already kind of got them on the right. market, mm -hmm. and so what you see might there might be there'll be more, but there won't be that much right. more. Well, the Fed is always hinting that interest rates could be going up in the near future. So is, do you think that's what's fueling a lot of this, is that rates are still very low? Yeah, I mean, for sure, this is a, a, a very good time to lock in that rate. It is surprising that, that you know, rates are still this low, given that the, the yield curve should be trending up, um, mm -hmm. given what the Fed has said. So I think that's part of it. But I think, in general, we just need more supply mm -hmm. yeah. in Madison. And I think that, the you know, developers, I think it takes uh, some time to get projects approved in Madison, so it's always lagging behind. And I mean, it's the same as the rental market. Yeah. As you probably know, the rental market's also very tight. Rents are very high. Yeah. Um, and that's great in a lot of ways. It, it indicates that we are a vibrant Midwestern yeah. city that people want to come and move yeah. to. But, you know, it makes it, it's, it's tight in the rental market and it's tight in the owner occupied market. And, and what, it's, it's had an impact on prices. The prices here are very, very high. Uh, for pe well, not, depending on where you are, but they've gone up. I mean, yeah. I know people that are looking for houses, and it's expensive for Madison. Yeah. For, for this, Madison for right proper, now. yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's right. And Madison does have both short and long-term supply constraints. Mm -hmm. So, in the sense that certainly, the, just the geography of where Madison is laid out and the restri restrictions on um, height restrictions near the capital. That's right. the only you can't adjust supply mm -hmm. that much, even in the long run, given the geography of it. Right. Um, and certainly in the short run, you can't get projects built overnight. Now, outside of, outside of you know, five miles from the capital, we're pretty supply, what we call elastic area, meaning there's lots of land to build on, and so you, the, the land is not super valuable, right. and so, so prices sort of, they're never gonna go up by that much outside of Madison property, but you're right, the pro prices are going up, you can't, that, that's the, uh, the margin. Yeah, they certainly bounced back from where we were five, six years oh, ago. Oh, that's for sure. Yes. But so how long do you think it'll last like this? These things ebb and flow, mm -hmm. I know, but is it a short window, do you think, or should it, will it stay like this for a while? I think it really depends on how quickly you can get new projects approved, how, how quickly that new supply can come onto the market. So I think, again, I tend to think of it in, in terms of a season for home buying, and, and this, the this late spring, early summer, that tends to be the, what we call the thickest part, where there's the most buyers and sellers. And that tends to be, um, and, and I think that, so for this season, this is what we got to deal with. Yeah. Um, and so I think prices will rise, and it, it, I think maybe next year it could be different depending on how many projects are approved that can come to market. Right. And it, it, I mean, it really depends on, I think the downtown core of these high prices may be here to stay, which again, I think it, it, it may be frustrating if you're looking to buy downtown, right. but it does indicate how people perceive Madison and who is coming to Madison, and that can be good for us. Yeah, it's healthy. All right, Very Andrew, interesting. thank you so much for your perspective. We Great to see you today, Andrew. Today. Thanks for coming. Thank, thank you so, you so much, much for having me on the show.